Oh, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to tell a few more stories about uh, Rabbi Sroil of Rijin, holy, holy man. And at the time of this recording, this is just after uh, Rosh Hashanah, um, and one of the highlights of the Rosh Hashanah service is the blowing of the shofar. Now, uh, halakhically, in terms of Jewish law, we do not blow the shofar, the ram's horn. We don't blow it if Rosh Hashanah falls on the Sabbath. We don't blow uh, the Rosh Hashanah uh, shofar if Rosh Hashanah falls on Shabbos. I'm not going to get into the reasons why, about carrying it, and Eruvim, and I'm not going to get into that. Just take it that we don't blow the shofar if Rosh Hashanah falls on Shabbos. Now, this story was one of those days. One of the days of Rosh Hashanah, the two days of Rosh Hashanah, one of them fell on Shabbos. And um, Rabbi Israel of Rijin said, on a day when Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, falls on a Sabbath, the ram's horn summons the world to a new year, must not be blown. On that day, God himself is certain to blow the shofar. That is why on this day, our hope is so wide awake. The source of mercy itself has awakened us. We pray in the Amida, the Kaaba Shofar Gadol Cheroseinu, sound the great shofar of our redemption, of our freedom, of our liberation. Um, don't take this as meaning that there's a you know a giant uh, fifteen foot shofar and that uh, it is a spiritual sound uh, that Rabbi Israel of Rishin is talking about God himself when Rosh Hashanah falls on Shabbos don't feel that you're somehow missing out because you're not hearing the shofar God himself if you listen with your soul if you listen with your neshama if you if you put your whole self maybe maybe you can hear God himself blowing the sound of the great shofar may the redemption May the freedom uh, come soon and in our times. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.